Hello, Liz. Hi, teacher. How Sorry. are you? Good, good. Fun. And you? Fun. Okay. Go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you ready? Yes, ready. <laughs> okay, that's good. How was the day? It was good. It was good? Okay. A lot of work? A lot of work, yes. Okay, that's excellent. <laughs> good. Okay. And uh, and you do you have to work uh, weekends too? Um, only Sundays, but it was one Sunday in this week, and another week uh, I have a um, free a weekend. I have free free weekend. Only so one you, Sunday. Every other week. Every other week. Uh -huh, yes. Like one week, <laughs> yes, one week, no, right? Exactly. Every, every other week. Every Sunday. other week. Every other Sunday. Every other week. Okay, good. Okay. Excellent. Yes. And you, you all, and you always work in the afternoon. Always work in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I have a, um, how do you say, double turno? Uh, double shift. Double shift. Uh -huh. Double shift. shift. Sometimes. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. that, two, that means? two times a month, a I month. have double shift. Yes. Okay. So that means you have to work from 6 to 10? Yes, wow. 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. <laughs> That's a lot, yeah. very long. Yeah. <laughs> but, but I guess that, no, but the airport is entertaining, right? It's entertaining because you meet uh, new people every day. It's mm -hmm. interesting. And you are, not, uh, you are not in an office all the time? No, I am a customer service. Ah, okay. Oh, yes. I need to Yes. <laughs> to, in, to interact, to interact with people. I interact with the passengers all the time. Oh, okay. In immigration, in the customs, okay. in the gate. And, okay. Mm -hmm. yes. and, uh, so you work for an airline too? No, I work uh, directly with PEPA. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, that's good. Yes. Okay, that's great. Okay. And, mm -hmm. uh, and that's, uh, how long have you worked there? How long? Have you worked there at the airport? Two years, three six, years? Six. Six? Six years. Six years? Yes. Wow. Yes. It's a long time. <laughs> Traveling every day. Yes. yes. <laughs> well, Traveling every day. But you get used. The good thing is that they give you transportation, right? Yes, I have a transportation. Uh -huh. So at the 10 p.m., I to roam. <laughs> yes, that's okay. That's good. Do you say uh, marcar, como la salida? You have to. Uh, Mar you have to set the time. Set the okay. time. The clock. Uh -huh. set, the time. set the time and the clock. Okay. okay. All right. Good. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's fine. <laughs> hey, Jorge. Hello. How are you? Fine. I feel very good. You feel very good. Okay. Good. Yes. You look fresh. <laughs> okay, thank you, but I, I'm so tired. Okay, that's good. Okay, yes. but once you get to once we get to our house, we feel better, right? Once you are in the house, you feel like more more relaxed. Yes. Yeah, yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Good. Moises, how about you? Uh, hello, teacher. Good night. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Sorry. How are you today? Uh, uh, I'm fine. Okay. I finished uh, to wash a uh, period. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Now you're ready to stay. And ready for the yes. Okay, ready for the class. Okay, that's good. Okay, good. Who else is here too? Okay, hey Kevin. Kevin, where have you been? <laughs> no, huh? Sorry, I work here. How, how is Miami? <laughs> it's good. <laughs> huh? 
<laughs> good, good. All right. Nice day. Yeah. <laughs> no, you know, Kevin was Kevin was on vacation. He said that he was going to Orlando, Miami, and then a couple of weeks. Huh? No, no, it's because because I have a few work. So yes, I know. Uh, I, I work in the night or uh, mm -hmm. uh, you have the, the night the night shift okay the night shift so you have to work at night okay good the good thing is that you are here okay that you are here again okay good Vanessa is here too how are you Vanessa hi teacher how is everything I'm very well okay yes. good ready yes ready uh, ready to have a like one week vacation, more or less, right? Yes, <laughs> after we, I was, after we finish this course, you have like four days of rest. Yes. Like one week. It's okay. Sleep early. Yes. Okay. Good. <laughs> then are you gonna you have you gonna have time to go to bed early? Okay. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. At least for at least for a week, right? Okay, um, let me see what else we have. Who else? Who else? Okay, here we have Jorge Alberto. Jorge Alberto Lemus. Jorge Alberto is in, is in the house. Okay? Yeah. Uh, big, big boy is in the house. Jorge Alberto the is in the house. In the house. Okay. The house. <laughs> All right, so let's see. What do we have for today? I said we have a, a little review. Okay, we have a remember the the additions, right? Remember that we have, for example, so to neither and either, right? Okay, I will show you today a video. <coughs> for example, remember so and to is when we agree in something affirmative, right? For example, uh, I like the movie, I like it too, so do I, or I do too. Remember that? Okay. I do too. So you do agree I. in affirmative, right? And when we agree in something negative, we said is we use neither, neither. or either. In, in either. Okay, neither in or either. Okay. Just let me, okay, good. And then uh, when you have, for example, Amy can swim and so can Sue. Amy can swim and Sue can too. Now I'm gonna show you a video, okay, where you can see uh, some uh, TV programs. Okay, so you will identify them, whether they use, but let me see if I can, Hey, teacher. Yes. Uh, do you send me that file for me? This one. Yes. Sure. Okay. Thank you. No problem. Yeah. Let me see if we can. Can you see the video? No. 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 Okay. Okay, now we're gonna see this uh, here. Now, yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, cartoon. Yeah, cartoon. Yeah, this is an introduction. Look at it. this is what he says. Please, can you read it? We will not destroy your planet, but neither will we provide you um, with our recipe for immortality. Okay, so here they are using neither. Okay, we won't destroy your planet, but neither. But he doesn't say neither, he says neither. Okay, neither. Uh -huh. because it's another pronunciation. Neither. Okay, 
but neither. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this is in cartoons for children, right? Do you remember this one? Yes. Which one is it? The Big Bang Theory, right? Uh -huh, Big Bang Theory. Okay, you see again that they say neither do you, right? So they use sometimes a different pronunciation, right? Uh, Yesenia, can you please read this? Uh, you know how it is with a break up? Break up. No, I break up. Uh, no, I don't. I neither do I. And neither? Do I. Do, do you? And neither do you. Okay. You know, breakups is when, for example, when you finish a relationship with your boyfriend or your girlfriend, right? You say, hey, you know how it is with breakups, right? Yeah. And say, no, I don't. And neither do you. Okay. Okay, this man says, neither do I. Okay, he uses a different pronunciation. Okay, this one says, neither do I. Okay, I never know what to say. Okay, this is when you go to a funeral, right? In the funeral, you never know what to say. And say to people at funeral. And then your guy says, neither do I. Okay, I never know what to say when a person has a bad day. Neither do I. You know, it's, you know, it's terrible, right? I never know what to say when people, uh, for example, uh, it's sad. You say, neither do I. Okay, you can use this in different situations in your life, okay? Not see you. Okay, I don't believe it. Neither do I, right? Teacher. Yes. I don't know if it's only my cell phone, but I can hear the video. You can hear the video? Mm. Okay, let me check if I can. Uh, okay, let, let me know if you can hear now. I don't believe it. What to say to people. Yes. Oh, neither oh, yes. do I. I'm okay. Yes, yeah. okay. thank you. You're welcome. It's doggy time! <laughs> you see the grandfather with a young woman, right? And then the, the people say... I don't believe it. Neither do I. Okay, neither, neither do I. I. You see, in the same actor, the same actor is using knife... Of course. ...and also Hang. neither, right? So sometimes they can pronounce the, this word in the same... In different way, in a different way. On, take my clothes off. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm confused. But well, so am I. This is another one, right? I'm so confused. Am I. Okay, well, so am I. Of course. Hang on. Of course. Hang on, take my clothes off. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm confused. Well, so am I. I shower twice a day and wash my hands as often as I can. Really? So do I. But you're a dentist, he's nuts. <laughs> okay. Didn't you ever do anything foolish? Wait a minute. 
So do I. I shower twice a day and wash. Okay. What does he, what does he say? So do I. I shower so twice, twice a day. Twice a right? day. I shower twice a day and wash my hands. My hands as often as I can. As often as I can, right? So every every hour or every probably 30 minutes. <laughs> that's the possibility. <laughs> but you're a dentist, he's not. <laughs> And then here says, really, so do I. I wash my hands as often as I can. Okay? So often as I can. Uh -huh. So then you see, for example, this is the importance, right, of using this because you don't have to repeat. You say, I shower twice a day and wash my hands as often as I can. Or really, I shower twice a day and I wash my hands as often as I can too. <laughs> uh, it's too much, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So do I. Easy. Okay. Then the next one. Didn't you ever do anything foolish to impress a girl? I may have. Jake's a nice boy. So's Nog. Okay, these are names, right? Jake is a nice boy. So nice is Nog. Nog is a Another person, right? Another boy. You don't work here. <laughs> yes, well, apparently neither does anyone else. Okay, you don't work here? Yes, well, apparently neither does anyone else. Hug. You don't work here. <laughs> yes, well, apparently neither does anyone else. A little bit sarcastic, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you don't work here. Okay, well, yes, well, apparently neither does anyone else. Not even the people who are in there, right? <laughs> when my father finds out, he won't be happy. Neither will mine. When my, okay, this one, uh, Jorge, can you read this one? Okay. When my father finds out, we want to be happy, neither will mine. Okay. So in what, situa in what situation can we use this one, Gio? <laughs> when my father finds out, he won't be happy, neither will be mine. <laughs> when we do something wrong, something <laughs> bad, Yes, right? Yeah. Then you can yeah. say, when my wife finds <laughs> out, she won't be happy. Won't be happy. <laughs> okay. Neither, will mine. Neither will mine, okay, Gio? Yeah, so then, okay? Yeah. Okay, good. So they say, when my wife finds out, she will kill me. Then you say, so will mine. <laughs> okay, so will mine. Okay, so this is, for example, when, you, when we do something wrong, okay, when something is bad, they say, when my father finds out, and you will see right? <laughs> what is yeah. going to happen. Okay, good. Thank you. You look very nice. Thank you. So do you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> These are compliments. Okay, compliments. compliments. Yeah. Okay. In English, in English, we have compliments. Similar in Spanish, you have cumplidos, right? Mm -hmm. But the only thing, but in Spanish, we also have something more colloquial, right? Yeah. That is the piropo, okay? Yes. But uh, for example, the, the compliment is more, more formal, more elegant, and more polite, okay? When you say, for example, in English, when you tell a woman, you look very nice, is the appearance and it's a compliment, right? But yeah. here in El Salvador, the connotation is different, right? Yeah. Uh, if, you, if you tell a woman, hey, you look very nice, then the rest of the people say, oh, oh, right. Then something like, you have other interests. That's the, the some people <laughs> think, right? 
<laughs> so they say, but in English, in English is very common, very normal. For example, you look very nice. I like your shoes. Uh, that dress is very uh, is nice. Or uh, you look good in green. Okay, you look good in blue. Okay, for example, you can tell a friend. Uh, for example, hey, Gio, I like your watch. Oh, thanks. Okay, mm. probably because you have a very nice watch. Okay. And then uh, I, I like your Rolex, you. Nice. Okay. $3,000. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. $10. And that's it. Okay. So if you see here, these are a... Okay, so these are you know, some uh, useful expressions and you see the situations that are very commonly used in TV, right? And you can apply this in different actions in your life, right? For example, the, the one that is very common is so do I, so do you. For example, uh, if you say a compliment, you can say, for example, uh, a, what would you tell a friend, if a coworker in your office? What would be a nice compliment? to say, <coughs> for example, uh, you look good uh, with uh, short hair, you look good with the long hair, uh, you look good in uh, what, in blue, uh, you look good in green, okay, you look good in any color, right? Mm -hmm. And then the person will say, thank you, so do you. Yes, so do you. Okay, be careful, okay, be careful with one thing. Is suppose that I said, uh, hey, uh, hey, Moises, in that picture, mm -hmm. in that picture, you look good in green. But then you don't, in this case, it's not correct. If you say, oh, thank you, you, you too. Okay, or so uh -huh. you, because I am not wearing green. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay, so in that case, you only say, thank you. Thank, only thank you. Uh, yes, okay, you will say only thank you. But when the other person, for example, when you say, hey, uh, suppose you, you tell Jorge, hey, Jorge, you speak good English. Mm -hmm. Jorge, what do you say? So the you. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah. uh-huh. <laughs> thank you. So, so do you, right? Hey, thank you, so do you. Okay, this is more common, right? Yeah. We say, uh, you speak good English. Oh, for example, when you go to a job interview, that person said, okay, hey, your English is good. Oh, thank you. Okay. So is yours <laughs> to the other person. So, 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 yes. uh, so is yours. Okay. These are real situations. Okay. We have another one, I guess, that I want to show you. Uh, let me see this one. This is for comparatives, too. And after we're going to have a little practice with this too. Hi guys, how are you? Okay, now you'll see this one. It? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Nice to see you again. Thank you. Here. Welcome to by the yeah. okay. on PWC. Hope to enjoy the class. On today's lesson, we'll be covering comparatives and superlatives. We will learn about what comparatives and superlatives are, how to properly use comparatives and superlatives, and some exceptions. However, before we start, I need you to know something. Every time you compare in English, you must always use them instead of that. For example, she is more beautiful than flowers. Going to the beach is better than going to the mountain. I prefer soda than orange juice. 
Okay, so you can use here also. This is something new that you have to use. I prefer, a, for example, nouns. What is something that you prefer? Water. Okay, I prefer water then? Then beer. Then beer. Ah. Ah, come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, okay. Uh, I thought the opposite, right? Right. <laughs> so I prefer water than beer. Okay, good. Okay, yeah. so this is, you know, what you prefer. Okay, um, how about you, Kevin? Uh, what do you prefer? I prefer coffee than chocolate. Okay, What's I prefer chocolate? coffee than chocolate. Okay, very good. Okay, you, Yusenia? I prefer wine than beer. Okay, okay, good, excellent. Yeah. Fancy. Good, good taste. <laughs> good taste. That's nice. Excellent. Uh, you, Suma? I prefer tea than coffee. Okay, I prefer tea than coffee. Okay, so these are things. Okay, now think about other objects. Okay, for example, I prefer cars than motorcycles. Motorcycles. Okay. Because they are, for me, they are dangerous. For me, right? That's my opinion. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I prefer a houses that, or I prefer a house or plural houses than apartments. Okay, because you have more space. Okay. Mm -hmm. a, I prefer a, for example, I prefer a casual clothes than for my clothes. clothes. Okay. So here you can speak about your preferences too, okay? Uh, how about you, Marcela? What can you tell me? Something that you prefer, anything. I prefer eat uh, meat than uh, fish. Okay, I prefer meat than fish. Okay, very good, excellent. And uh, Julius? I prefer dogs than cats. <laughs> I prefer dogs than cats. Okay, good. Excellent. Okay, now you have this is another one. You see, going to the beach is better than going to the mountain. So playing in soccer is uh, more exciting than staying in the house. Okay, watching a movie is... Uh, more entertaining than, uh, for example, than, 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 what? Playing. Opera. Or playing. Uh, In the phone, mobile phone. Uh -huh, than playing on the, uh -huh, than playing on the mobile phone. Thank you. Okay. So these are other, uh, uh, let's say other ways to use it. See, easy peasy. Let's start now. What are comparatives and superlatives? Well, comparatives are adjectives that compare only two things. It's like comparing cartoons and TV series. How to use comparatives? First, don't forget comparatives are used only to compare two things. The clue word for comparatives is more. At and ER, which is an abbreviation of more at the end of the adjective. And if the adjective is too short, just duplicate the last letter. Then you would say something like, I was born first than my brother, so I am older than him. What you cannot say is, I am more old than him. This is not correct. It's like mixing the word more with the adjective. Okay, so this is important, right? Remember that short adjective, you say older. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, I don't know if I sent you the file with the, I will send you the word file that I have, with the charts in the WhatsApp, so that you can see this video, and you can also have a review for, for example, for uh, the use of the comparative, okay? Here it says, it's like mixing the word more with the adjective. Okay, more when it's more expensive, more beautiful. What else? More. 
more comfortable, more expensive, uh -huh. more, more, more expensive, more, more uncomfortable. When the adjective is long, more than three, uh, more than two syllables, like three syllables, then you can say more, uh, let's say more, uh, more, more expensive, more beautiful, and uh, more comfortable. Let's make an example. Guess you're running against a friend, only the two of you, and then you win. So, what would you say to your friend? What would you say to your friend? I was. Excuse. Uh -huh. I you was see, for example, faster than you. I was faster than you. Or in present, I'm. I'm faster. Uh huh. I am faster than you. Okay. I am faster than you. Or I was faster than you. Then you told your friend, I am faster than you. Okay. I am faster than you. Okay, here's when you compare yourself to another person. Okay. I am taller than you. Okay. I am older than you. Okay. Or for example, you are fatter than me. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> No, no, I am fatter than you, okay? You are fatter than me, okay? <laughs> Which is correct. What you cannot say is, I am more fast than you. Okay, look, no more, because it's a short adjective, then you say faster. Faster. This ER, faster. faster is more. Okay? Yeah. Good. This is not right. Well, we know. Superlatives are adjectives that compare more more than what? More than two things. Okay, and what do we use for the superlative, Yesenia? Do you remember? We use more or most? Superlative. Uh-huh. Most. Most, right? When we don't have comparison, right? Remember one example with the most, Kevin? The car red is most beautiful to the car blue. I don't know. Okay, so then you say the red car is the most beautiful. Okay, no comparison. Okay, the red car is the most beautiful. Then two things. Like comparing three people to see which one is the oldest, the youngest, and the tallest. How to use superlatives? First, don't forget superlatives are used to compare more than two things. The clue word for superlatives is most. At an ESD, which is an abbreviation of most at the end of the. Okay, remember that the comparative is to compare more than two, two things, things, the comparative. But the superlative to compare more than two things. More than two. Uh, the word in the comparative is more, and the word in the superlative is most, right? That's when you say good is the adjective. The comparative is better. Better. And the superlative? Best. 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 Huh? Huh? For example, when you have the adjective is old, the comparative? Older. 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 Uh -huh. And the superlative? Oldest. Oldest. Uh -huh. The adjective is young, the comparative? Younger. 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 And the superlative? Younger. 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 There you go. The adjective. And if the adjective is too short, duplicate the last letter. Let's make an example. Now, let's suppose you're running against many friends. And then, you win. So, what would you say to your friends? What would you say? Now is many friends. Mm -hmm. I am. I'm the, the most, most fast. The, the, the fastest. The fastest, right? I am the fastest. Then you tell your friends, I am the fastest runner, which is correct. What you cannot say is, I am the most fast runner. This okay, so fastest instead of most. This is not correct. Okay? It's such so short. Not right. Now, we're almost done, so let's see the exceptions. 
First, if the adjective is too long, more than two syllables, then you cannot use comparatives and superlatives. For example, Spanish grammar is more difficult than English grammar. Okay, you have other words here. Beautiful, remember we said in expensive, more. Uh, we said comfortable, but also you have the, the, cold. Okay, yeah. this is more than two syllables. Three syllables, the, the, cold. Beautiful. Intelligent. Okay, so this is more intelligent or the most intelligent. Spanish grammar is more difficult than English grammar. Or, she's wearing the most beautiful dress I've ever seen. Second, if the adjective describes an absolute state, like perfect, unique, and uniform, you cannot use comparatives and superlatives. For example, Maggie had the most perfect score at the exam. And, there are some irregular adjectives that change with comparatives and superlatives. There are five of them, which are good, bad, far, little, and many. And here you have the comparative form and the superlative form. Okay, this is what I was telling you. Good, better, and best. Bad, worst, worst. Far, farther, and farther. Farther. Little, little, best, and less, least. Least. Okay, least. little, less, least. Least. Many, more, more, and most. most. Okay. Well, guys, my advice for you today is watch English movies with English subtitles. This is really gonna help you out. Thank you, guys. See you next Friday. Okay. So see you next Friday. Okay. Get ready. All right. So, okay, there you go. Now, do you have any questions so far? No? no. Okay, now uh, we're gonna have a little practice with, uh, with groups, and then uh, please use the first, the two, so, neither, okay? You make short dialogues, okay? You're gonna practice short dialogues using so, neither, uh, neither, either, or two, right? Okay, just let me see. We have how many people to have? Eleven. All right, here we go. Get your invitations and I'll be there in a minute. Okay, we have more people coming in. Okay, let me Okay, Eddie. Hello, Eddie. Hello, teacher. Okay, how are you? <laughs> uh, accept the uh, invitation, join, and you're gonna work with Liz. Okay, okay. Okay, good. You got it? Yeah, there you go.
maquila o industrial part. Okay, mm -hmm. difficult. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, another example. Um, I prefer ice cream than cake. <laughs> Is it true? <laughs> uh, huh? Is it true? Uh, yes, I prefer oh. ice cream. <laughs> you, don't, you, don't, you like cake? <laughs> okay. Can you ready? Uh, I prefer the ice cream. So you prefer ice cream. Uh, yeah, uh, then you can say, for example, I prefer ice cream too. Then you can use the uh, uh, agree, for example, say, I prefer ice cream than cake. And they say, oh, really? I, so do I. Okay, or mm -hmm. me too. Yeah. Then you can practice. Uh, or you can say, an I, no. So, so do I. I. Can you repeat this? So am I? Okay, uh, but it depends, right? For example, if I say I prefer, say so do mm -hmm. I. So do I. If you say I so prefer, I. I prefer uh, ice cream than cake. They say, oh, really? Then, so do I. Mm -hmm. Okay, or oh, me too. Okay, that's right. Okay, good. Keep on practicing, okay? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right. How's the okay. boat? How's the party? Oh, there. <laughs> uh, we can we uh, we can say the old the uh, two older. Two oh, okay. Older. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> no, uh, Kevin asked me about uh, one coffee I am drinking ah, yes. all day. Ah, okay. How many cups of coffee? Yes. Okay. After that, I I will talking about the whole whole. Is getting all this Vanessa or all okay. okay, good. But by, by the way, man, now is that you say this, do, who drinks coffee? Do you drink coffee? Kevin, do you drink coffee? Yes, I drink coffee. Okay. I you, do. you, Vanessa? Yes. Okay. I like then, coffee. You like coffee. How much coffee do you drink? You drink I the... drink uh, is eventual. Some days one cup in the morning or night and with during, meats. And during the day? Uh, in I the mean, evening? During, during, during the week, during the week. Oh, uh, in, I don't count. You don't count? <laughs> okay. <No. laughs> Me, okay, I don't either. I don't okay, you said I don't. I don't count the cu the cups of coffee. Okay, so I don't either. I do. I don't either. Neither do I. Okay, neither do I. I drink a lot of coffee too. Okay, oh. probably four or five cups maybe. Okay, a day. Two in the morning. Okay. Yes. Probably okay. two in the morning, three in the afternoon, or vice versa. Depends. Depends on the time. Okay. So <laughs> then you can practice. Okay. For example, I do two. Or oh, for example. For example, you can say, I prefer a, I prefer ice cream. No, I prefer semita than ice cream. No. Okay. I huh? prefer, I prefer right. Right. Pupusa, uh, than torraditas. Than, okay. Then I say, oh, really? <laughs> so do I. So do okay. I. Okay. Then you are practicing the comparative and you are also practicing I do, do I don't. Okay. With the okay. same with the same expressions, right? For example, I prefer pupusas than dobladitas. Say, oh, really? So do I. I do too. Okay. And you, Kevin, what do you prefer? I prefer maybe a beef to the chicken. I prefer beef I than think... chicken. Okay. Okay. Uh, me too. Okay. So do I. I prefer beef as well. Okay. So, so am I, so am I is correct too? No, because he say I prefer, is I do. Ah, uh, uh, I do. Okay, for example, if I say I am, uh, for example, I am older, I am older than Kevin. And then you can say, uh, so am I. So am I. Uh-huh. Okay, I am okay. older than Kevin, because I use I am. 
Okay? Okay. And they ah, okay. say, okay, so am I. Okay? Good. Good. Keep on practicing. Nice. Thank you. Okay. All right. I like... What do you like? Who likes? <laughs> <laughs> say, it. say it, say it, say it. Um, I like uh, green apples. Wow. Green apples. Mm -hmm. um, mm, I don't like. Así que sería, <laughs> but but I, I don't. But I don't. Uh huh. But I don't. Okay. I like, but no mucho es uh -huh. more or less. <laughs> but uh -huh. I like them, but not too much. I like them, uh -huh. but, but, but not, not too much. much. Okay. Not too much. Okay, you can use, for example, also the comparative. Suppose you say, I prefer, mm -hmm. I prefer coffee than milk. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. you say, oh, okay. so do I. Okay. Mm -hmm. For okay. example, uh, you can say, I am, uh, I am, uh, let's say, I am taller than my father. And then you can say, oh, really? So am I. Okay. I am also taller than my father. Okay. You got mm -hmm. it. Okay. You can use, you can practice the two forms, the comparative. And also you can uh, practice uh, do, so, neither, and either. Okay. Either. Mm -hmm. Okay. Continue okay. practicing. Thank you. Okay. Hello, people. Hi. Hello, teacher. How are you? Any questions? Yes. Yes, go ahead, Yesenia. Um, we, uh, we do mm -hmm. a three sentence. Um, for example, I, I have a duda. A doubt. A doubt. About. Ah, Por ejemplo, en esta, eh, I didn't go to the supermarket last week. Mm -hmm. Es, I didn't. I didn't. I go, didn't go to the supermarket. Go to. I didn't go to. Go to. The supermarket. Go to the. Uh -huh. The supermarket last week. Mm -hmm. And the answer is, so do I. Past tense. Neither because it's, so it's negative. Uh -huh. This is negative. Yes. Then you have to use so neither. Did. Neither. You have to use neither. Neither. Neither did I. Neither did I. Oh. Because it's negative. Neither. Neither did. Did I. Uh huh. That's correct. Did I. And the other. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and I eat, I eat beans and bread for dinner. Mm -hmm. As me isn't either. No, that's affirmative. Es, no, pero si no la, si él no comió eso. Ah, okay, good. You say I in past tense or present? Es, uh huh. The present. Okay. I eat. Okay, present. I, I eat, eat beans and bread for, for dinner. dinner. Okay, they say, mm -hmm. but I don't. But, but, but I don't. But but B U T. I mm -hmm. don't. I don't. Okay, but in that case, Yesenia, you don't agree. Ustedes no están de acuerdo, right? You don't agree. Mm -hmm. huh? Then, mm -hmm. when you say you don't agree, then it's but. Oh. Okay? You mm -hmm. say, I, I eat beans and what? I, be, I eat beans and bread for uh -huh. dinner. Okay, beans and bread for dinner, okay? But I don't. Pero yo no. But I don't. Okay, okay. but I don't. Yeah, then, I in don't. Affirmative, if it is affirmative, you say, mm -hmm. I eat bread and beans for dinner. Oh, I do too. I And I don't do the homework as me neither. 
Uh huh. Okay. That's, it. That's correct. He said, "I don't. Okay. I don't do my homework in present." He said, "Me neither." Or, "I don't either." Or, "Neither do I." Three forms. The three forms. Me neither. Neither do I. And I don't either. The three. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Now, another form that you can use is, for example, if I say, I prefer, I prefer a, let me say, I prefer coffee than milk. And then, mm -hmm. do you agree with me? I prefer coffee than milk. Then you can say, so do I. So do I. Yes, you prefer Neither. coffee. Do you prefer coffee or milk? Do you prefer coffee yeah. than milk? Yeah. So do I. So do I. So you prefer coffee. Yes. yes. And you, and you, Moises? Hey, so do I. Too. Okay. That's right. And they say, so do I. I prefer coffee mm -hmm. than milk. Then you just say, say, so do I. And then Moises, so do I. Okay. Then if you say, okay. I, pre I prefer, I prefer a semita than ice cream <laughs> so do i so do i okay and you, you neither say, do i but i don't neither do i agree yes, or no? Don't. no no okay don't then, but, this is but, but but i don't but i, I don't uh-huh mm -hmm. you know remember okay but i don't okay. because you don't agree if you agree, okay, uh, I do too. So do I. For example, okay, that's the, that's the one, okay? Now continue practicing and one more and that's it. Thank you. Thank you to you. All right. Hello, Evelyn. Evelyn, hello. Hello. Evelyn, are you there? Hello, Evelyn. Okay, everybody. Everybody's back. Only human is missing. Okay, there. You go. Okay. So remember, these are the the additions that we use. So to neither either. Remember, this is when we agree on something that is what that is affirmative. We agree. Okay, we agree okay, on something affirmative. Uh -huh, that is it is affirmative. Affirmative, right? Yes. Okay, and in the other case on something that is negative. Okay, on something that is something that Okay, so that is negative. Okay, what happened when we don't agree? 
If we don't agree, we use. Eh, but I don't. Uh -huh. But I. Okay, but I don't. Okay, can be don't. What other? Uh, what's another one that we can use? But I don't. Neither uh, do I. But. But uh, I am not. Okay. For example, uh, suppose I said uh, I. I. I smoke a lot. But I don't. But I don't. Uh -huh. I don't. Okay, but I don't. Uh, I am. Uh, I am very angry in this moment. Yeah, but I. Don't. But I am not. Okay. I'm not. I'm not. But I am not. Okay, so then this is you don't agree with me. Okay, this is something. Remember, this is to agree. Affirmative, to agree in negative, and this is when we. What is the opposite of agree? Disagree. Disagree. Yes. Uh -huh. That's agree. Okay. Disagree. Okay. Then when we disagree, we're going to use this. All right. So then these are, you know, other things that are not in the, in the program, but they are very, very useful. Okay. So then after we have the, and then we have, Okay, we're gonna continue practicing the with, uh, remember the could and would, the polite request. Remember? Uh huh. Will, can, would, or could to ask someone to do something. Okay, when you need to request a person a favor. Okay? Mm -hmm. We often use will or can in, for informal requests. Okay, will you answer the phone? Can you turn the TV? Okay, Jorge, what was your request for me about this document? Will you? Will you send this to the shop? Uh -huh. Okay, will you, send, uh -huh. will you send this document to me? Will you share this document with us? Okay, can you share this document with us? Okay, this is a, a request. Then if you want to be more formal, we say, would you, you please share, uh -huh. would you please, exactly, remember, would you please, would you please share this document with us? Mm -hmm. Or could you please, okay, so these are different ways to do it. That depends on, on how you want to express yourself or who you are asking to, right? Good, and then this is, for example, the other one, but could you please, and, or would you please, also you can use would, okay, or please at the end. Okay, so these are other forms, you say, would you mind? Remember this one, would you mind waiting? Okay, and you say, not at all. Would you mind, remember that when we use this expression, this is without please to make it more polite. All right. So here we will say, would you mind waiting for a few minutes? But always the action here, you're going to use it in ING form. Would you mind uh, standing up? Would you mind uh, lending me your cell phone? Would you mind uh, going out for a few minutes? Okay, would you mind, uh, let's say, uh, would you mind sharing your, uh, let's say, uh, your book with your classmate? Okay, would you mind giving me a ride to my office tomorrow? Okay, uh, would you mind helping me fix my car? So you can use any action that you want, right? Just always remember and practice, you know, choosing those expressions and then also different verbs so that you can remember always the verb because English requires a lot of repetition, a lot of uh, practice, okay? Remember, that's very important. Okay, do you have any questions for today? No? Or yes? Yeah. No. Okay, um, I, will, I will put this, uh, 
I will share this document with you in a minute in your WhatsApp group so that you can uh, keep it, study it, okay? And if you have and if you have questions, you can you can always ask me tomorrow in tomorrow's class. Uh, they told me in English Corporativo that uh, the test has to be finished by by Sunday. So you have a uh, let me see Thursday, Friday, the week, Saturday, and the week and Sunday. Sunday is the last day. Okay. Tomorrow I will okay. I will give you another another review of tell and uh, how remember how far and all that so we can practice because that's part of the exam okay that's part of the exam including this okay and if you have questions you can ask me tomorrow okay no more okay. for today no. it checks. Yes. i have a question uh -huh. uh, when when the uh, they start the, the next uh, the next class model Ah, Dennis Mario, uh, that's a good no, no. Let me find out and I will put it in the, the, I think it's one week, the second, let me see, the first week of uh, the second or third of March, something like that. But I'm not really sure. But yeah. I will oh. find out and I will, and I will uh, post it in the, in the WhatsApp group, okay? Okay, okay. Uh, let me see what else. And uh, then, yes, and the other one is for Sunday is the last uh, day for the exam. Okay, people, have sweet drinks. Okay. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you, rest. Thank you. Thank you teacher. Thank no you. good connection Bye. more. Okay, so good night. Yeah. Good, good night. night. Okay. Bye.